Hi, I'm Brian Allgaier. I'm a creative director at Insomniac Games. I'm here to talk about Fuse. So Fuse asks the question of what happens when you put alien technology in the hands of humans. And the game begins with this group called Overstrike 9 who are traveling to a secret government facility in the Nevada desert. Overstrike 9 has to stop this paramilitary organization from acquiring Fuse and using it to start this global arms race. Well, at Insomniac Games, we take pride in creating inventive and imaginative weapons. When we began working on Fuse, we were coming up with tons of different prototypes. And what worked best were ones that fit into understandable archetypes. Having the healer, the sniper, the tank, the stealth character, all made sense in terms of making four-player teamwork work. But we wanted to take it further. We wanted to give players these awesome weapons that they could use that went just beyond your standard uh, weapon fare that you would see in a lot of other games. So Overstrike 9 wields a very powerful arsenal of fuse weapons. Uh, for example, we've got Dalton Brooks. He uses the mag shield. This is a, uh, a fuse-based weapon that combines fuse with ferrofluids. Dalton can use his mag shield to push forward, which his teammates can get behind. He can also drop these shields down. It also has the offensive ability where he can use it to blast enemies, liquefying them immediately. Then there's Naya Devereaux. She's got the warp rifle. This is a gun that she can use to power up, uh, essentially, enemies with this energy until it, it hits this threshold and creates a wormhole, sucking them into this singular point. This is a weapon that's combined uh, fused with antimatter. Naya also has a secondary ability where she can cloak, which is very advantageous for flanking enemies, uh, getting alongside them, but she can also use it to get close to heroes who might be downed and, and there, therefore she can heal them. We've got Izzy Sinclair who uses a weapon called the Shatter Gun. This is a weapon that will crystallize enemies, causing them to rise up out of cover, allowing other players or even Izzy herself to shoot them and shatter them. Izzy's secondary is the Med Beacon. This is a beacon that she can use to both heal herself and any teammates that might be nearby. And finally we've got Jacob Kimball who uses a weapon called the Arc Shot. This is a weapon that uses mercury combined with fuse to fire out these bolts that create these mercury type wisps that will fry enemies. Jacob uh, this uses this weapon uh, for distance essentially. He can hang back and snipe enemies from afar. So one thing that we learned while developing Fuse was that a lot of our weapons need to have uh, a selfish action but have selfless benefits. A lot of people will initially play a cooperative game as loners. They want to try out these weapons, they want to take out enemies. And the, the one thing that we discovered was that these weapons can segue into better teamwork. A good example is Dalton can use his mag shield to protect himself but it's big enough that a lot of players will want to get behind it. He'll drop that shield so he can use a different weapon, and then heroes will quickly use that shield um, for cover themselves. We've got Izzy Sinclair who can fire out heal beacons to heal herself, but it emits a large enough ring that other players will want to get inside of. As players start to learn the dynamics of these weapons are and are using them selfishly, selfishly, they start to segue into using them more selflessly as they learn how to work better as a team.